Good evening. Good evening. I asked Peter, we are like, what should we do before we go out? Do you want to take a nap? And he said, I want to do the opposite. So Peter's going to take a run. I'm going to go on a run. Eve's, <laughs> Eve's, Eve's, Eve's not stopped barking because she wants to take a nap too. Yeah. So she's going to take a nap. And it's actually not going to interfere with really our plans tonight because I had a crazy day at work. Out of nowhere. Um, was it weather related? It ended up being, I think, no, because, but it was Duke Energy's problem, not our problem. Oh, so, so, like, other stores around us, our building, didn't have power either. So, what happened was about, like, t not even 10 minutes after I got to work, people were walking up the stairs and complaining that the elevator stopped working. Like, that's weird. And then the lights flickered. Near my cubicle, I had power and everything, but most of the building did not or had strobing office lights. So, that was going on for, like, three hours. And then the air conditioning kicked off, stopped working. Um, five minutes later, the internet and power and phone lines went down, and then five minutes later, the entire power went out. And then our building is not like owned like most office buildings; it's not like run by my company; it's run by a management company. So the facility manager came by. I was like, "Hey, like this is an electronic, like a Duke Energy issue, so we're closing the building. So like, we have the ability to work from remote." So like there was a mass email out like, "Hey, if you can work remote, go home and work remote. If you can't work remote," go home anyway, like you can't stay here. They don't know how long it's gonna be. It could be an hour, it could be 12 hours. So I came home at like noon, but the funny thing is, is I was in such a rush to get out of the office, I left my laptop charger. So my laptop battery lasted until 4 p.m. and then it died, so I couldn't finish a full day. I let my boss know though, but it's 4.30, so I'm gonna go and run now. I figure I can go on a run, come back, shower, be ready to go out to the parks by 6 p.m., which is like our typical time. And that gives us little, little, Yellow flower power girl, an hour and a half to rest. I don't know why I'm so tired. We were up late. And then woke up early. Just rest. Yeah, put Eve on top of me. Five miles, 15 minutes, a 10 minute and three second mile. It's hot and humid. Now I gotta take a shower before we go. that last shot is gonna be good of me but I went on a run today. Yay! Five miles. And when he good. woke me up and he was like it's six o'clock or whatever time it was. What did you say? You said it was 5 30. I was like no it's not. Yeah I was Hi. like could you heat up the dinner like while and I'm in the like, shower so we can go afterwards? She's like what? I was like it's too early. Sleep. Like I, I thought like, it was morning. It's 5 30. Anyways I'm most excited to see food and wine signage. Oh yeah because we're actually going in the, we're back at Epcot. Yeah. First of all, That's you couldn't tell. Mm -hmm. But we're going into World Showcase today because we're here for the rest of the night, I think. We're just meeting mm -hmm. Jenna and Bill before we go on Spaceship Earth. And then I'm gonna die at every single food and wine stand. You're gonna hear some obnoxious statements done by this guy tonight. Have you guys ever noticed the little fishies making shapes in the queue of Nemo and friends? Because Peter had it. Hey, it's my favorite picture. This music, listen. It's so good. Dolphins. What is this? Dolphins. <gasps> Look at it. <gasps> Look, they're friends. <gasps> oh, 
for? <laughs> it's like me and Eve. Or oh, they both went out to the other room. We should come in here more often. That's the tube for the ride. Mickey Mouse? What? It's right there. Wow. I'm gonna put the Nemo Wow music in here because it's incredible. Yeah, there's a shark. This is the first food and wine booth we've seen in fully in World Showcase. Oh gosh. It's funny because the stands really only went like down. Oh. Two months. Two months ago. Oh, Coming soon. But the real, the testing question, because the menus have not come out. Will the fisherman's pie be back? I need to know. Fisherman's pie has not been here, I think, the past two years or three years. It was part of the UK. They retired it to bring some kind of fish mac and cheese, I think, last year. But I just need, it's very good. I just want my fisherman's pie back. It was like my all-time favorite item I got during a college program. I got it during like that food one like seven or eight times. And for a CP, that's a lot of money. Peter got the water for once. He was super brave. I'm a big boy now. <laughs> he always makes me get the water. And I asked for the water today. Wow. We had to get four. This gentleman bill or someone in Morocco. You know, I just get lost in Morocco. I wish the band was playing. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, oh man. One of my top three favorite stains in all of food and wine. Can we just, can we just, do you got like a bobby pin that we could break in and just hang out in there until August 30th? That would be nice. Just call off work every day, pretend like I'm sick. Or we go back, get my laptop, and sneak in there. We just use the Wi-Fi here. You can just work there. Yeah. We'll bring the, I'm, the Mac too. All right, guys. Between now and August 30th, we're going to have really boring vlogs. They're all going to be like Castaway in that, the, in, the, inside that booth. Deal? Deal. What a way to be welcomed out of Norway. Of just illuminations. Getting you in all the feels. That quite possibly might be one of like the coolest new viewing spots for eliminations. One minute it was Spaceship Earth. Oh, and now it looks like a Coke store at Disney Springs. I think Jenna and Bill might be doing the void, but I'm not positive. We gotta meet back up with them. We drove separately. You the devil finished, Janice. You know, you're pretty good, old son. But don't you watch, old son of a gun. I'm the best says ever been. He plays. Down the boys run. the house of the rising sun. Springs without a Jira Dally chocolate. I don't think so. Never. Improper. Vacation fashion. She's getting a little sandwich. She was like, should we get it? Let's sit right here. She was like, do I need it? And me and Sarah both were like, Jenna, you shouldn't ask us that. You know the answer is always yes. Like post Christmas or Thanksgiving dinner, five minutes later, the answer is still yes. I think I said this in today's vlog already, but tomorrow, if nothing changes in my schedule, tomorrow is my last day in the office. Yay! And I'll work home Friday and Monday. But we're going to bed. Uh, they're going to at Animal Kingdom in the morning, and they have a 9:15 flight of passage. So I'm like excited for them to go on that. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>